How's it going, space pilots? This is Dr. Hefe, back with FTL Faster Than Light. And today I'm going to be trying a new ship, the Federation Cruiser Type B this time. And since it is a Federation Cruiser, let's go with the uh, something that all Americans love about Federations, the Confederacy. Let's call this one a good old Johnny Reb. And we're going to have our crew. Good old Jeff Davis. And let's see who else here. Robert E. Lee. And probably one of the most badass dudes, Mr. Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall Jax. That guy, that guy was a real badass of the Civil War. And no, I don't support the South or any of that, but... You know, it's a Federation cruiser. You know how they were called the uh, Confederated States? Confederation States of America? So, you know, it works. Alright, let's get into this game. Enough about Civil War. Alright, so let's have good old... Let's, uh, I really don't like putting the Zoltan guys in the shield room or weapons room. Because if they step out of there, then those things go down. So I guess we're not going to put them there. Wait, no, I should power that up. All right, all powers, all systems go. Let's continue our jumping. Let's go this way. Uh, quarantine level five, great. So I've only played with this ship one time before and it did not go so well. Got completely blown up by sector four. And I think it was because I just didn't put enough uh, scrap and upgrades into like shields and uh, engines so I was constantly getting hit and got screwed over all right some mantis let's kill them so I have two weapons here the dual lasers that shoots two blasts and a leto missile now this missile is like a weak sauce missile it only does only does oh my goodness damage already it only does one damage to enemy systems which is not cool there we go. Our shields are down, and all of our stuff is on fire. Great. What are you getting there and helping with that? Here comes the artillery beam. My favorite weapon in this game so far. Alright, that was like nothing. I, I got less scrap than I could even take to to even repair this ship. Alright, looks like there's going to be some healing, so we'll be back once all of our crew is at full health. Alright, and we are ready to jump now. Let's go... Let's go down. Why not? Let's see what we can find. An advanced rebel ship. Let's attack them. Why not? Uh, these guys just keep hitting me. And what's up with my weapons crew? Come on. You gotta actually hit them with these missiles. There we go. Now they're screwed. And I'm liking that the artillery beam can really just destroy this ship. Like, here it comes, slice. Easy. Investigate the station. Scrap and a pike beam. Ooh. Is this like the long, long beam? Because those one, that one's awesome. In fact, I'm going to upgrade my weapon system just so I can use that. Sorry, Leto missile. Uh-oh. Need some power over here. There we go. All right, people in trouble. Always love to be help people in trouble. Here come the soldiers of the Confederacy. And, of course, it was a trap. You know, this happened actually a lot the first time I played through with this ship. Just everyone waiting to set up a big old trap for me. It's really not cool. Let's see. How do I want to... Oh, my goodness. This laser's huge. 
Hey, I got a laser for myself. Sucks to be you. Bam. You're done. Oh. It does take forever to charge. Alright. Nice. I'm liking this new weapon, this pike beam. It's very, very useful. So let's see. Go to the store? Mmm. Don't really have anything that I could buy, so. Let's continue flying around through space. Ah, uh, attack the slaver scum. Let's see. How do I want to shoot this pike beam? That looks deadly. Uh oh. Shields are down. Oh, I should have waited on a pike beam. Uh oh. Alright, so now that that fired, their shields will be down. So let's get one across the shields. There we go. Take that. Let's make sure their weapons are completely offline, because taking damage to that is going to be bad. Alright, let's take one of their slaves so that he can work in our shield room. Welcome aboard, Dolan. Welcome aboard the Johnny Reb. I hope that you are in support of states' rights over the federal rights. And actually, I in, in some cases, I am in support of that idea. Like, medical marijuana? That should be up to the states. Although, actually, it should just be legalized. You know. But since the federal government doesn't seem to be doing that anytime soon in America. Thank you, Obama. <clears throat> then, you know, it should be left up to the states. I don't want your uh, your DEA agents busting down my doors. All right, let's intervene to defend the outpost. Let's actually put power into our oxygen systems. That'd be nice. All right. Oh. Some assholes are coming over here to fight. Oh, almost took down their shield systems. There goes that. Oh, you're dead, sucker. Yeah, let's keep firing at those shields. Alright. Come on. Uh oh, this is not going well. Not going well for the ship. There you go, artillery beam. Oh, fires in the oxygen room. That's always good times. Um, well, at least we seem to set a fire in their weapons room. There we go. Their shields are down. Don't want to waste a missile, so keep things as they are. On. Come on, boys. You just gotta get one more hit on him. Why Why are these guys such terrible shots? Oh, my goodness. Whoever is working their artillery beam, I think that's you, Jeff Davis. Good job. Because, god damn it, Stonewall Jackson, you're supposed to be a badass leader of men. Oh, and we have no oxygen. We need to repair that right away. Alright, so there's gonna be some repairs to our oxygen and some healing, and then we'll be ready to jump. Alright, Johnny Reb is all fixed up and ready to jump. Uh, doesn't seem to be much that we can do down here, but let's check out the store nonetheless. Let's see, we can hire some people, which could be useful, but uh, not right now. Let's fix up our ship a little bit. I don't want to spend too much scrap on that, because we may need 
Because I'd like to, you know, upgrade the rest of our systems first. And now, where can I... Dang. I jumped into a bad area. Alright, well, let's keep exploring Sector 1. Try and get as much scrap as possible before the Rebels arrive. Oh, repair some damage. Sorry, dudes. Don't really need that right now. Um... Oh, I guess... Should I... Should I jump? Alright, let's go to the next sector. I think I kind of screwed up in that one, but whatever. Don't want to deal with any Mantis men. Their teleporting on board ships always sucks, so let's go chill out with some civilians. Hey, what's up, dudes? This is Johnny Reb here. <laughs> Alright, this isn't working, because I'm Johnny Reb, and there's rebels trying to catch me, so, interesting. Maybe I guess I'm uh, flying the Union Jack, actually, as part of the Federation. Alright, a cool nebula, let's explore it. Auto scout, and they're trying to cloak and get away. Why don't I have enough power for you? There we go. And the cool thing about flying through the nebula with slug dudes is that they can, uh. Oh crap. Is that they can detect where the enemies are, like on ships. And obviously. Wait. Yeah, that way. And obviously. The uh, automated scouts don't have any any people on board because they're on automated scout. So why would they have people on board? All right, I really need to upgrade my shields. Like I can upgrade them, but I won't have enough power to power them, which would kind of suck to have shields and no power. So let's continue making our way through the cool nebula. Grooving around. Let's attack some pirates. <clears throat> okay. And they're sending people on board. And see, look, I can see where the enemies are. And they're all coming to screw me over in the uh, captain's room. Oh no, Rockmen. That's not going to be good. I don't like Rockmen. Let's see. Shield? I like it. All that. Well, whatever. That'll do. Fire the laser. These guys are going to have to get out of there pretty soon. Well, there goes our dodging abilities. Wait, how do they stop weapons? There we go. Trying to escape, huh? Not today. And I don't have any power for that. Oh, good. Thank you for leaving my ship, assholes. Now enjoy lasers. And some defense drones that we can sell. Great. Alright, so a little bit of healing and repairs. Okay, so now I'm going to upgrade the shields. I mean, I really don't have enough power to upgrade it all the way, but I guess I can take power out of our laser. Or no, power out of our engines. I do need that artillery beam to wreak havoc upon the enemy. Let's continue flying through the nebula. Rebel, sh Rebel fleet can't find us in here. Only Rebel scouts can. And what? Oh, damn you, Ion Storms. Alright. Um, hmm. Dual lasers and artillery beam up. Let's hope our oxygen doesn't run out. Well, we don't need oxygen, but we do need our artillery beam to get online so we can do some major damage. And they got another weapon online since we took their shields down. Oh, whoa. That's not good. You need to go repair the artillery beam. Damn you, triple laser. Today's not the day to be missing Stonewall Jackson. There we go. That's some major damage. Ox 
Oxygen's low? Great. Um, what can I even sacrifice? I can't sacrifice that. I guess we'll just have to choke to death. But it's for the glory of the Empire. I mean, not the Empire. The glory of the Confederacy. Alright, good. A little bit of choking never hurt anybody. But we should probably repair our oxygen. Uh oh. Shit's getting drastic up in here. Like drastic all over the place. No, you need to get in here. Get to the med bay, people. Oxygen. I said get to med bay. Move. You fool. Why do you not listen to me? Oh my god, my whole crew's gonna die from freaking poisoning. Oxygen poisoning? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> They're screwed. I should have let the oxygen in. Well, this is gonna be a short video, but at least it shall uh, show you the need to make sure you have your oxygen working, otherwise your crew shall asphyxiate quickly. Goodbye, Dolan. You came upon the doomed ship. <laughs> well, just as the Confederacy was doomed, so was our ship. And you know, it's all about the naming. You name it something awesome like, uh, like Long and Hard or Cock and Balls, you're gonna win. That's obvious. That's an obvious, obvious obvious, obvious trait. So, as always, this is Dr. Hefe, playing FTL, and uh, go out there and get some oxygen. Don't asphyxiate. Take care of yourself.